hey guys so um today i'm going to continue my uh, tutorials about bmw zidrive and new technologies and um the last time i was talking to you about the new idrive 5.0 uh, system that's been implemented on all new models starting this uh, this uh, summer this july and it's available throughout the range excepting no, it's available throughout the range because the 5 series went out of production and it gets its uh, brand new uh, infotainment system. Today I'm going to talk about the technologies inside uh, BMWs today and I chose a 7 series for this purpose because it's fitted with all the latest uh, the Germans have to, off to offer. Um, I won't be going through the same things I went uh, th uh, through on the, my previous videos, but I will explain the new uh, functions. Now, in the on the on the screen, you have the same six categories, but they have some added functions. In the media radio uh, sub menu, you don't get anything additional, but this car has screen mirroring available, so uh, you can actually get a, your own device, your own Android phone because it doesn't work on iPhones and you can actually uh, have the the content on your device's screen mirrored on the car screen it's really useful the only thing is I never got it to work I don't know what the secret is I don't have the manual with me but I don't know it shouldn't be that hard to use I've been trying for about an hour before I started recording this it doesn't work I don't know why it just doesn't this is something new uh, on on the 7 series that will be available on the on the 5 series uh, once it starts uh, being delivered. The USB connection is the same. This car has the Bowers and Wilkins sound system which is the top of the line one. It has uh, diamond tweeter domes and so on a lot of technology. And um, you can actually adjust it. It has sound profiles from the studio which I use most of the time to simulating a concert, simulating uh, how the music would be heard on stage at the cinema and the lounge setting. All of them have different tricks. The lounge setting uh, basically um, adjusts the sound so that the passengers in the back have the best experience but the passengers in the front won't be left out, don't worry about it. It still works flawlessly. Um, that's about it for the uh, media submenu. It really doesn't have all that much uh, extra. You can actually connect your phone using uh, near field communication or NFC. It has a, a sensor right over here. So basically you activate uh, NFC on your phone, uh, you approach it to this sensor and the, fo the phone pairs automatically. Unfortunately I have an iPhone, iPhones don't have near field communication so I can't showcase this feature to you guys this time but uh, I promise next time I will be using an Android phone and I'll try to to um, I'll showcase this feature as well. In the communication sub menu things are really the same nothing uh, nothing extra here compared to the standard systems the navigation system is absolutely the same connected drive as well but in the my vehicle section we have a couple of new settings first of all you have interior lighting on the 7 series for the first time you get a wider palette of colors that you can choose for your car's interior. Uh, as you can see you can go from uh, bronze, um, these lights are uh, noticeable the most at night. I will do a, a uh, I'll show you guys how they look at night as well. Um, so they work, they are noticeable most at night because during the day the sunlight doesn't let you uh, see them. I don't know how uh, the video will show them but they're really nice they bring the car to life and uh, the sunroof and the panoramic view in the back have this new feature that uh, basically light, lights them up at night uh, in the colors you choose for your interior so basically if you go for lilac uh, for example the the same color will be applied for the the sunroof you can adjust the brightness and um, the speaker domes here have uh, LEDs in them as well and you can turn them on or off I prefer them on because they look absolutely brilliant at night uh, you can also um, activate or deactivate the accent lighting in the in the rear uh, what that does is um, on the B pillars you have uh, some lamps that can uh, emit light at night 
to make the trip more comfortable or less comfortable depending how you like it you can adjust the their brightness here and um, yeah that's about it at night they they dim uh, automatically if you want to if you don't you can just deactivate this option on the outside the same uh, options are uh, basically available um, except this one this one is just for the 7 series it creates a, a welcome mat out of uh, leds basically you get lighting on the side of the car that shows you uh, if there's a puddle in front of your uh, your door or uh, if there's i don't know dirt you don't want to step in it they uh, will show uh, the lights will show you it will show them to you before you you step in the car pretty nifty uh, feature uh, looks great at night now um, this the submenu for the doors and the key are uh, basically the same the intelligent safety submenu is quite different because it has more options in it uh, you you get pedestrian alert uh, you get this in uh, in other cars as well but on on this car you get dynamic marker light what this does it illuminates pedestrians on the side of the road so let's say you're driving uh, on uh, on the road at night and there's no public illumination or I don't know maybe it's just a dark uh, area of the town the car uses the LED fog lights to point out uh, pedestrians near the the street basically it flashes them uh, of course you'll get a lot of angry looks from uh, pedestrians but uh, you cannot miss or um, uh, hit someone with this feature because it will warn you you have collision warning you can set it up to be early medium or late uh, if you set it up for early it will um, trigger uh, easily and it gets kind of annoying so I'm always using it uh, in the late position lane departure warning is the same uh, basically what it does it flashes a light in your uh, rear view mirror to tell you that there's someone in your blind spot and then uh, as well you can adjust it you can also choose steering intervention basically if you want to switch lanes and you're about to crash the car will steer the other way uh, avoiding an accident uh, you can also get the lane change warning it works the same as the uh, blind spot warning basically a uh, flash is a light and tells you don't don't uh, swerve into the other lane once again you can activate steering intervention and you have side collision warning as well so all the safety features you can either configure them over here in the in the sub menu or you can just use this button that is dedicated especially for active uh, safety functions uh, you can also choose how hard the steering wheel will vibrate because whenever you're doing something stupid and the car thinks that you're going to crash the steering wheel will vibrate before intervening so you can choose whether it to be strong medium or light i prefer it uh, light because it gets kind of annoying after a while you can't turn it off unless you turn it off from the intelligent safety um, sub menu you get speed warning speed limit assist attentiveness assistant uh, this uses a series of uh, sensors on board the car that uh, basically tell you when you're tired then you should take a break uh, coffee uh, indicator will show up in your uh, in your instrument cluster telling you that it's time to take a break because the car senses that you're a bit tired you can also set it, uh, set it up to be quite sensitive uh, uh, standard or you can basically turn it off I'm gonna leave it on uh, this is a, a special feature for snow chains parking now this car can automatically park itself both uh, lateral uh, and uh, perpendicular um, once you drive alongside a park uh, a row of parked cars the car will automatically if you have this feature uh, set up to turn on automatically it will automatically detect when you have a spot open it will signal you tell you to stop and it will park itself you also get active uh, PDC emergency intervention basically the car will will uh, press the brakes if it thinks you're going to crash or just hit something it's quite annoying to be honest because it brakes really hard um, you get park assist basically this is just playing a sound when it detects a parking space cross traffic alert 
well um, this car has cameras in all angles of the car so you if you just press this dedicated button here you have two uh, cameras at the front of the car that will once you're trying to get out into an intersection will show you the road I can actually press it now will show you the road if a car is coming from the left or the right the screen will turn red on the right or the left uh, and it will tell you whether it's uh, okay to go or not and you get a, a panoramic view that's uh, based on the GPS don't worry you're not filmed by a satellite it just uses the cameras around the car to show your position in driving experience control you can configure uh, your sport and eco pro modes individually uh, basically in sport mode you can configure it whether you want the damping the steering the engine and the transmission to be uh, uh, stiffened up in eco pro you can choose whether the AC is turned off in eco pro if coasting is enabled and so on it's the same as in all other iDriver 5.0 uh, models now in seat comfort you can choose uh, to show the to save the seating position and activate the seat massage you can choose a whole range of massages and they do work you also have a dedicated button here on the door that uh, you can just press and choose both to turn it on and the intensity with which the massage is being performed the same can be done uh, this car has the executive pa package which means that the passenger uh, side uh, the passenger seat uh, can be folded so that the rear seat occupants can stretch their legs which means it doesn't get the massage function because all the mechanism couldn't be included in the seat so the options for the passenger seat are just a lot a lot limited climate control uh, you can adjust a lot of settings uh, on the climate you can um, choose whether to activate it for the rear occupants um, indirect ventilation means that the air isn't blown uh, directly into your face but it's thrown away into the car so that everything is as comfortable as possible um, and you also get fragrances now this is something only the 7 series has it, you can get um, four uh, different uh, fragrances for your car uh, basically the car um, uh, can change the smell inside based on, uh, based on your preferences and um, what you need to know about these fragrances is that the perfume is ionic which means it won't be uh, imbued in your uh, in your clothes only the car will smell nice but your clothes won't smell of the perfume inside uh, the seven, this 7 series can also be had with armrest heating basically you can heat the armrest you can heat the steering wheel you can even hear, uh, heat the armrest on the door both up front in the back for the passenger everyone can get heated armrests with something new for the industry something new for the for the 7 series it will probably uh, make it to the 5 series as well uh, in iDrive settings uh, you can uh, control your mobile devices your headphones if you want to uh, connect uh, remote headphones to your car you can do that uh, you can uh, turn uh, the wireless charging tray on or off, which is right here. There's a charging tray here. Uh, you can use it to charge uh, uh, phones if they have wireless charging available. The iPhone doesn't, so it doesn't work. Um, you can also charge the car's key using this wireless charger. You just slide it in here and the key will be charged you can also charge the key using a micro USB connection uh, you can change the language of the iDrive system and enable the rear seat uh, entertainment I uh, will show you the rear seat entertainment in a, in a part uh, to a video and uh, from the drivers um, controls you can choose whether uh, to enable rear seat control or not this is probably the biggest uh, novelty for the 7 series for the geeks out there that, that want to know uh, everything that's uh, available for uh, in, in terms of in-car controls basically gesture control allows you to do uh, certain functions for example you can uh, adjust the volume just doing this that's all you need to do uh, 
contrary to what a lot of people may say, uh, gesture control works fine. You just need to get used to it. And you, if you're an Italian or you like to use your hands a lot uh, when you speak, it's recommended you don't use your hand in this area between the steering wheel, the dashboard and the gear shift lever because it will uh, pick up on your movements and you may change your, the station or uh, uh, maybe just uh, turn up the volume without you knowing it. So yeah, you can uh, turn up the volume, you can turn it down, uh, you can change the, the song, it only works forward, there's no gesture for backwards. Uh, when somebody calls you, you just go like this and you can answer the phone or go like this and uh, reject the phone call. And you can uh, uh, assign uh, this gesture to a certain... Um, to a certain function as you can see here uh, you can navigate to the home address turn on uh, mute the system uh, uh, enter a recently used menu and so on most people use it for the next function uh, gesture control will be available on other models later down the road the touchpad functions are pretty much self-explanatory uh, the, uh, the touchpad has been around for quite some time uh, in the display uh, submenu, you can adjust the head-up display, the control display, and the instrument cluster. Basically, you can adjust what is displayed on them. You can turn the screen saver on or off. I like to turn it on. It will display a big clock here, a big analog clock. When you're not using the uh, the uh, iDrive system, that's about it. You can set up different driver profiles. Uh, you can um, see different uh, uh, status indicators for the car technology in action it will uh, give you tips for uh, efficient drive driving if you will show you how the car's fuel consumption has uh, varied over uh, over time and you can also use the sport displays these show you the power uh, developed by the engine um, the BMW 7 series unlike uh, other models in the BMW range allows the people in the back to actually control more functions than the ones in the front that makes sense considering you uh, most of the owners or the people that will be chauffeured in these cars are executives that will be sitting in the back once you step in the back you'll find this this is a command tablet as BMW calls it and has various submenus. Uh, we'll go through all of them to see exactly what they contain. In the interior lighting uh, tab, you can choose the lights inside the car. Uh, at the moment, it's daylight, so they won't be noticeable, but during the night, they totally change the aspect of the interior of the car. You can also adjust the brightness uh, if they're too, too much for you at night. And of course, you can just turn them off altogether. You can also adjust the uh, sound system's LEDs. The tweeters in the doors have LEDs embedded in them. Uh, if you go for the Bowers & Wilkins sound system, and they look brilliant at night, I totally recommend uh, using them. And uh, adjusting the brightness is also possible here. You can also uh, you, uh, turn on and off the accent lighting uh, or adjust its brightness. Accent lighting uh, is... Um, a lamp in the B pillars that um, makes you feel at home basically at night. It's very soothing, uh, very soothing at night. Going in the sun protection uh, submenu, this is something you can't control from up front as well. Uh, you can open and close uh, all the sun protection uh, inside the car. The blinds for the windows and uh, the rear view, uh, the rear uh, window. Uh, and you can open them manually. Up front, you can only control the the front uh, sun protection. That's it. Uh, but uh, once you step in the back, you can control all of them. Uh, they don't seem to work right now, but uh, yeah, you get the point. Um, then there's the uh, seating arrangement uh, settings. Uh, you can adjust uh, all the seats in the car except for the driver's seat. Uh, you just pull forward 
and adjust it or uh, move it upwards or downwards and you'll adjust the seat you can also uh, adjust the um, the massage settings you have quite a lot of options here in terms of massage and you can also enter the vitality program this vitality program uh, allows you to exercise while uh, uh, on the road basically you can stretch your legs uh, you do some movement uh, as per BMW's indication to get your blood flowing let's say you've been on a long trip and you're just uh, coming back from that long trip a, a driver will pick you up at the airport and you just want to stretch your legs a bit on the way home this is possible with the vitality program you can adjust the climate conf uh, the climate um, settings uh, ventilation temperature uh, areas that will be ventilated and so on in the back end uh, for your seat uh, use uh, turn the ionic air uh, on or off I don't know why you'd prefer it off but whatever and uh, choose the the perfume that gets sprayed in the car uh, in the media radio sub menu you can choose your sources uh, radio FM AM auxiliary music collection uh, the car has a on board uh, eight uh, hard disk drive where you can store your music CD blu-ray screen mirroring yes you can mirror your screen your uh, your smartphone screen on the car screen uh, if you have an Android device because iPhones aren't compatible with that uh, option right now you can also play music from a uh, USB or HDMI device uh, in the driving information sub menu you get info about the car uh, the range it has the fuel consumption uh, the position if it's tilted or not and so on okay uh, going back to the settings menu uh, this isn't as diverse as uh, the um, the iDrive screen up front but you don't actually need it anyway and in the apps section you get to see the uh, Android um, system that's uh, working behind uh, behind the BMW app that's about it